Hi there. I've got some new tech I want to share with you today, and it's got something to do with that sound in the background. So here it is, the new hotness, my brand new Black & Decker Lithium 60 volt max lawnmower. I just got this in this week, got shipped in, and uh, I just got done doing my first mowing on it. So I've got one experience with this thing. Um, so let me walk you through some of the features of it. It's mostly plastic, as you can probably tell. It's really light. It's like 42 pounds, thereabouts. So it doesn't, uh, it's really easy to push on grass. It's much lighter than a normal, than a normal lawnmower. It probably, um, I'm going to guess my, my, my gas power one was probably pushing 70, 75. And this thing being 40, it's very easy to pick up. You can see we've got a nice, if you need to pick it up, you've got a nice handle here. You've got a nice, actually, handle here. Under here, they've got a grip for you. Uh, so it's really easy to pick up and carry. I actually brought it in from the house over there. And I was just going to set it down on this little walkway and ended up walking it straight out here to the driveway. And it worked really nicely. So in here is kind of the, the, the main guts. This is the batteries for it. you got two batteries. Whoops. you got battery one, battery two. Uh, they are 60 watts here. And you can see, and they have their own little indicators uh, to tell you the battery life. That's got about one. I think, yeah, that's one. And that's what um, they were both at when I got it here. Uh, and they took about four hours to charge. Now back here you've got a little rocker switch here that's under plastic so it won't get stuff in it. And you've got your power indicators here, how much of a charge you have. You've got your light here that tells you how this rocker switch is pointed to it. Um, is it pointing at battery one? Is it pointing at battery two? Now if I if I put in the safety key, you will see that it will light up and it will show you I'm pointing to two. Two's got a pretty much full charge and one is got one light, which is a little surprising to me. Uh, but I got to read up on, uh, I, of course I have, I've only read the instruction manual just enough to figure out uh, how to put it together. And uh, the way this works has been interesting because when I first started mowing, three on one, three, it showed three lights very briefly and then very quickly the first light went out and I had two. And then as I'm mowing, you know, it worked its way down and finally it got to the point where I had zero lights for battery one. And it ran for a good long time after that. It wasn't until I, I literally had uh, about, um, you know, two or three strips of, of grass left to go in our not too huge back lawn. Uh, when it finally died on battery one, I had to switch it to battery two. So, uh, almost did the whole darn thing on battery one. Uh, so that, that, that worked out pretty well. I'm very happy about that. As you can see, I've got the bagger attachment on. It comes with a bagger attachment. It also has a little uh, filler for back in there, uh, so that if you don't want, you want to mulch it, you can. Over here, you got the cover over the side discharge. Obviously, you leave it closed like this if you were going to do either mulching or bagging, but it does have a chute that can attach there uh, if you do want to do side discharge. So you can do it any of, any of three ways uh, for that. Uh, the wheels are kind of nice because if you look down, you know, here is the path of the blade right here, and here is the wheel. So the wheels aren't protruding out from beyond the path of the blade so you can get right up close to something and, and, and get much closer than you can with a traditional lawnmower that might have the wheel offset out here more. So it's, that, that's a nice little feature. The wheels do not require any lubrication. They have plastic bearings. So there's very little has to be done there. And then we've got uh, we got a nice adjust, adjustment for the, the handle here. You can see there's like a little gear system here that kind of holds it in place and keeps it from moving. And then we've got these little guys. There are, you know, there's one down here, there's one here. And this is a, a nice little innovation. This is how you keep the handle steady. Uh, and normally you just have like a little twist nut here and you tighten it as much as you can. In this case, you've got a nut right here that is, you've got, you know, it's pretty much as, as, hard, as hard as it can go. But if I want to move this, all I need to do is release the tension on this little jobby. And now this is loose. 
I can move it. And if I did it to that one as well, then I could fold this up very easily. And likewise, I could undo those and fold those up. And then when you got it where you want it to be and ready for it to be done, you just push it like that, and that makes this tight. That makes it tight so it can't move. Increases the tension. Very good. It does have the safety key. And this is just so that you can take it out, you can store it someplace else and prevent kids or whatever from doing it. It just plugs right in there, maybe. Right there, like that. That will cause the lights to light up. You've got, uh, and then starting it is a two-point system here, as it says on that. You Number one, you press this down here, and you have to hold it. It's kind of a two-handed operation, which I think is what they intend. So you hold the button down with one finger, and then you come back here, and you pull the breaker bar, or I forgot what they call it, but you pull this bar back, and that's your emergency thing. And then you can let up on that button, and it starts. And it will keep running until you release the breaker bar. And once you release the bar, then, uh, or maybe you just brake bar. Once you release the bar, then the engine stops um, just like it would with a normal gasoline powered motor. The other feature that I wanted to point out that is really awesome, I think a lot of the gas ones have this as well, is this feature right here. This guy right here is your height adjustment. There are seven different settings here that you can have it on. I have it on five. And it's nice because you can adjust the height of the entire, all four wheels at once with this little knob without having to do each one individually, which is what my old 20 year old mower had to do. I had to deal that with that on each mower, on each wheel, but I love this. This is really nice. Right here, you may have noticed it says power swap. I'm getting some glare, but that says power swap right there. And what that means is that it is supposed to. If you have higher grass, uh, it is supposed to uh, give you a little bit more speed so that it will, uh, you know, it will cut a little bit better. Otherwise, it goes down to a lower speed that's going to cut the battery. You know, I just got done cutting this yard. I'm very happy with how it looks. It wasn't very high at all, uh, you know, an inch or two maybe, so it wasn't like it was really thick grass. There were a couple spots where it was a little damp, either due to dew or my neighbor's sprinkler, but all in all, it was uh, it was uh, a really nice experience. I'm looking forward to using it again. Uh, I did uh, tape a short clip of me actually using the mowers to get a sense of how easy it is to push and more to the point how how much noise there is on it. So uh, I will insert that here. So that's the Black & Decker 60 watt lithium battery powered mower. I like it a lot thus far. Um, it comes with the two batteries and one charger that will only charge one battery at a time, uh, which is a bit of a bit of a, an understatement maybe, or maybe it would have been nice to have two, but at the same time I'm only going to charge battery one today because I hardly use battery two at all. My yard is, uh, is officially 0.22 acres, and this thing is rated for quarter acre and less, and actually the actual mowing capacity was, was less because out of that 0.22 acres we have the house and driveway and, and, and other landscaping features, so um, not all of that is grass. Uh, but So probably if you had a true quarter acre yard, this would pretty much do it on the two batteries. But it's it's nice. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, they run about, I think, 350 if I remember correctly. I got an employee sale, so I did not pay quite that much, but most people will have to get it there. Uh, I think it's a, a nice little mower, and I'm looking forward to using it again. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'll be back with more tech later. And until then, be seeing you.